MIUI 10 Global Beta Pi, the latest version of Xiaomi's MIUI operating system based on Android 9. MIUI isn't for everyone, but if you can get used to the UI design, there are many improvements over stock Android to enjoy. Performance and battery are really impressive with the optimizations in the ROM, and overall it's a pleasant ROM to use from the box. It's not really as flexible as stock Android ROMs, but balanced with the MIUI features that have been added, you might prefer to run MIUI rather than AOSP based ROMs. This is version 9.3.21, the latest release at time of filming. Weirdly the security patch was set to 0.4.0.5, which is about half a month in the future, so unless Xiaomi has mastered time travel, they're using build prop edits to display the security patch level. This isn't really great as we can't easily see what level it actually is, but this is a beta ROM so it doesn't really matter. The ROM will generally display the same as stock Android, with the same features shown through the MIUI skin, so you'd be familiar with the options shown if you use Android. Not much has changed between MIUI 10 Oreo and Pi, some of the new Pi features have been included though. The contrast and colours options in MIUI 10 are really good and allow fine control of the display colours. This helps a lot if you're not happy with the display under certain lighting conditions. The themes used to be really awesome, but the theme store is region locked now and not globally available. And to make things worse, Xiaomi has blocked importing third party themes, so for regions like the UK, you're completely out of luck. You can change the region settings with no issues though. The sounds page is almost identical to stock Android. And the same for the lock screen settings. The battery section is totally different from stock Android. They completely reskinned it and added optimization options. I doubt it really does anything, but it could help you identify major drains. The adaptive battery toggle is new in Android Pi versions of MIUI. I'm assuming that's the toggle for Android Pi's native battery manager. There are also toggles for apps under Power Saver, where you can set the strictness of battery management per app. Throughout the ROM, there are so many toggles for terms and conditions and user experience programs in MIUI. This one enabled itself after updating. One issue with MIUI is the presence of ads and data mining in system apps. If you don't like it, you can disable the ads from the settings of each app they are in, and overall I would use an ad blocker like BlockAdder to keep them away. The developer options are the same as any other ROM, apart from the final two, which are options for MIUI. I really love the full screen gestures, I know stock Android has this too, but MIUI has really nice gestures for navigation. Here are the individual settings for system apps, I disabled a lot of apps through ADB, so I don't have the full list here. Dual apps hasn't changed between Oreo and Pi. The permissions are similar to stock Android, with some MIUI exclusive permissions as well. 
The quick settings are a bit bland without themes. The camera is unchanged from MIUI Aurea as far as I know. MIUI camera is actually really good, but doesn't have the same processing software as Google camera. The recents page is really nice on MIUI 10. I would even say it's ahead of stock Android in terms of displaying multiple apps together. So that's a rundown of MIUI 10 Pi. It really hasn't changed a lot from Oreo, but it always helps to be up to date on the base Android version. MIUI has come a long way in development and I have been enjoying it for now. I hope this was another informative video for Android users.